By default, changing the direction or depth of an extrude or revolve feature doesn't determine whether the feature is removing or adding material. The feature will add material unless you specify that you want it removed by clicking on the Remove Material icon first. Creo Parametric can be configured to accelerate the design process by automatically switching between adding and removing material when you extrude or revolve a feature based on your depth or direction. To activate this option, click File Options, Configuration Editor, and then click Add at the bottom of the dialog box. In the Options dialog box, type Auto underscore, and you'll see the option auto add remove. Notice that the default value for this option is no, but select yes from the drop down list then click OK, OK and no unless you want Creo Parametric to work this way all the time and now when you edit the depth and direction of the extrude feature the remove material icon will toggle on and off accordingly. If this hex shape is extruded, notice that the Add Remove Material doesn't automatically change. This is because the sketch plane doesn't lie on the first surface intersected by the feature, which is the surface at the bottom, Extrude 1. In this type of situation, if you want the feature to remove material, you'll still have to select the Remove Material icon from the dashboard. Now let's try a Revolve feature. You can see that dragging away from the sketch plane adds material, while dragging into the model removes material. Notice the Remove Material icon toggling on and off accordingly, based on the direction. By knowing how to configure Creo Parametric to automatically add or remove material, you can significantly reduce the number of picks you need to make and get your designs completed faster.